this is a simple test with the prototype of my magnetic tool ginger with the Bantech LGX uh, this is the print of a 3D Benchy quite slow maybe 40 60 millimeters per, per second max but this is ready to test if the system wheels will hold on so maybe we will for now it's 13 millimeters because it's the first layer So let's crank up the speed to 200%. 64mm per second. Yeah. This is my second attempt because somehow with the screws I twist a little the tool plates and as you can see I had to put some paper just to add some tight on this one uh, I do a test before with uh, more speed uh, and we crank up speed to 300% So 120 millimeters, 80, 100, usually with some rapid movement at more than 250 millimeters per second. Yeah, I still got the old extruder. <laughs> The original extruder so the head is quite heavy now I have to admit and I removed the the heat block part because if it ever falls I don't want to break it and in terms of weight it's insignificant because most of the weight is on the pancake there So you see, usually between 80 and 120 millimeters per second. Can I crank up speed more? Yes. Let's go to four, four times speed. So between 160, 140 millimeters. If it moves, I should hear the little click, 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 click because of the balls banging against the pin dolls. Spin doll. Those. Cannot go 
accelerate faster. As you may see, the way I did it, uh, the tool changer will not touch. Ah! Sorry, it's hard to. This is the heat sink, and all my parts stay away from it. So even with PLA, it should be correct. Okay, this seems good. I will leave it good till the end. It's 14% but quite promising. And once again Promising for the next part.